Hello! Welcome to the Totally English YouTube channel. Uh, allez, on est parti pour la semaine 7, week 7 of the videos. Uh, Aujourd'hui, c'est pour les grandes primaires, donc les 8 à 11 ans. Il euh, y a déjà les vidéos pour les petits primaires, les 6 à 8 ans, et il y aura les vidéos pour les maternelles qui va suivre euh, dans pas longtemps. Donc voilà, ok, euh, donc si vous n'êtes pas déjà abonné à la chaîne, abonnez-vous comme ça, vous ne loupez, loupez aucun vidéo. Les vidéos vont continuer, euh, je vais essayer de les réduire au niveau de temps parce que apparemment elles sont un peu longues, donc voilà, je vais faire un peu plus court. Euh, so, are we ready to start? Are you ready? Yeah, you're ready to go? Okay, let's go! Hello everybody! Hello, hello! Uh, maybe it's good morning, good morning, or maybe good afternoon, or maybe good evening. Ça dépend à quelle heure vous regardez la vidéo. Okay, so how are you? How are you? How are you today? Good, okay, well I'm, um, I'm okay, yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah, um, I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Yeah, we can say I'm doing okay. I'm doing okay. Or I'm not doing okay. I'm not doing okay. Okay? Uh, or we can also say, uh, we know what, I'm fine. I'm well. I'm not so good. I'm so so. Yeah, you remember? Very good. Okay. Uh, so let's start with the date very quickly, the routine. If you remember from last week, uh, we talked about the structure of the date. So if you remember, if you remember, we talked about there are four parts to the date to the date. So we've got the day, okay, the day. Uh, after we've got the date. After we've got the month and after we've got the year, okay? So the date is always like this. Sauf si c'est les Américains, les Américains, ils inversent. Donc eux, ils font date, day. Mais moi, les Britanniques, les Anglais, on fait euh, comme les Français, donc dans l'ordre comme vous. The day and then the date, okay? The day and then the date. So, um, today, if we talk about the day, what, what's the day today? What's the day today? Today is what day? It's Friday. Yeah, exactly. It's Friday. So, what's the date? The date. What's the date? What's the date? It's the... Yeah, it's nearly the end of the month. So, it's the 29. The 29, yeah, the 29. Alors là, dans le date, on n'entend pas the one, two, three. Tant qu'on n'entend pas one, two, or three, c'est toujours suivi par th. So it's the 29th. The 29th. 29th, yeah, the Friday, the 29th. And what's the month? What's the month, this month? Yeah, we're still in May. It's still May. On est presque à la fin, nearly at the end of May. And the year, the year hasn't changed. The year, yeah, the year is 2020. Yeah, very good. So the year is 2020. Um, okay, and we can also talk about the season. So what's the season? If I talk about the season... Yeah, it's still spring. Spring, yeah, it's still spring. Donc, ce qu'on va essayer de faire, surtout avec les grandes, c'est de pouvoir dire le date sans aller dans chaque étape. Comme ça, c'est un peu long, c'est un peu répétitif. Maintenant, on connaît beaucoup de choses. Donc, moi, maintenant, on va essayer de lancer carrément une phrase entière avec le date euh, et avec la saison. OK? So, we're going to do like this. We're going to say, today is... Friday, the 29th of May, 2020, and the season is spring. It's all, yeah, it's all. Donc, chaque jour, on peut s'entraîner aussi à la maison. Today is, on dit le date, 
and the season is et on dit la saison, comme ça on peut s'entraîner, ça va nous aider à, à prendre l'habitude de dire la date en anglais, ok? Uh, so again, if we can repeat together, you ready to repeat together, yeah? Can you say with me, yeah? Vous pouvez le dire avec moi. Today is Friday, the 29th of May, 2020. And the season is spring. Very good, excellent, excellent. Okay, I want to hear you, I want to hear you say it on your own. Are you ready? Okay, one, two, three, go. Very good, excellent, excellent. That was really good, very, very good. Okay, uh, let's just do the yesterday, the tomorrow very quickly. Today is Friday, yesterday was easy, it was Thursday, today is Friday, tomorrow will be Saturday, yeah, it's the weekend, tomorrow is the weekend, yeah, it will be Saturday. Um, if we look at the month, last month, this month is May, so last month was April, yeah, very good, last month was April. This month is May, and next month will be June. Yeah, next month will be June. Very good, excellent. The thing we need to do is to look outside. If we look outside, what's the weather like today? What's the weather like today? Yeah, for me too, it's very, very sunny yeah it's very sunny it's very sunny and it's a little uh, yeah it's a little hot yeah it's a little hot yeah very very good very very good okay so for the theme for this week our theme for this week begins with the letter s the letter s can you find the letter s yeah, it's easy. S. Yeah, S, like in French, yeah. So S is, of course, for Sarah. Uh, it's for sad. It's for Saturday. It's for sunny. And it's also for school. School. What's school? Yes, exactly. C'est l'école, yeah, exactly. It's l'école. School. So schools are different all over the world. Partout dans le monde, les écoles sont très différentes. Ce qu'on remarque euh, très souvent avec les écoles, surtout en Angleterre, mais dans beaucoup d'autres pays, c'est que tous les enfants qui vont à l'école, ils sont habillés pareil. Et comment on appelle ça quand ils sont tous habillés pareil Ils portent quoi In English, we say a uniform. A uniform. Yeah, they wear a uniform. En France, euh, oh, il y a quelques écoles, mais pas beaucoup. Hein. C'est très, très rare en France. Mais en Angleterre, c'est très, très connu. La plupart des écoles, tous les enfants portent une uniforme. Donc, euh, après, pourquoi pas Pourquoi pas Moi, je trouve ça pas mal. So, I'm going to show you some pictures of schools around the world. Donc, si vous regardez ces images, c'est un mélange des, des uniformes que les enfants puissent porter. Donc, ici, c'est très typique des écoles en Angleterre. Souvent un petit pullover avec une petite chemise euh, en dessous, euh, une jupe pour les filles. Euh, ou même souvent aussi les filles, elles portent le, un pantalon. C'est très détendu. C'est souvent un jogging ou un pantalon euh, assez facile à porter. Ici, on a une école euh, en Afrique. Donc là, bien sûr, c'est les robes. Ils ont un peu chaud. They got dresses. But yeah, all the uniforms, uniforms are very different. Hein? Ils sont très différents partout dans le monde. Here we can see they even have hats. They have hats, yeah, to protect them from the sun, yeah, they have hats, yeah. Et uh, aussi, uh, th there are a lot of schools where they wear um, ties, like here. En fait, ils portent uh, des cravates, yeah, the ties. C'est souvent les collèges, ça, c'est souvent les collèges et les lycées. The primary schools, yeah, it's often like this, yeah, c'est plutôt comme ça. Okay, so, so for you, you don't wear a uniform. No, you don't wear a uniform. Um, in France, no, on ne le porte pas, mais dans beaucoup d'autres pays, oui. 
so if we talk about school here in Buzig, in Buzig, uh, you go to school on Monday, on Tuesday, on Thursday, on Friday. Yeah, you go to school on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. You don't go to school on Wednesday and you don't go to school at the weekend. At the weekend, yeah, there's no school in Buzik at the weekend. Exactly. Okay, so what do you do at school? What do you do at school? Ça veut dire, qu'est-ce que tu fais à l'école? What do you do at school? Est-ce que vous pouvez répéter la question? What do you do? Very good, yes. What do you do? En français, qu'est-ce que tu fais? What do you do? Yeah, very good. What do you do? So, what do you do at school? Well, I can imagine that you do maybe this French. What's this French? C'est le français. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you do French. And what else do you do? I'm sure that you do math or maths. In English, we can say math sans s. Or maths avec un S. Et on peut aussi dire mathematics. Le seul différence, c'est que nous, on prononce les TH, TH. So math, maths, or mathematics. Il y a les trois façons de le dire. Ok? So I'm sure you do this too. Maybe you do as well a little uh, of this. Geography. Geography. C'est très similaire qu'en français. Geography. Uh, and maybe this as well, history, some history, yeah, l'histoire, history, yeah, a little, a little. And when I come to school, quand je viens à l'école, ou aussi avec les maîtres et les maîtresses, uh, you do, yeah, English, yes, of course, English, yeah, don't forget English. And also, I'm sure that you do a little sport. Sport, okay? En français, on dit du sport. In English, we say physical education. Physical education. On a raccourci, parce que ça fait beaucoup de, de, de syllabes. So we say P-E. P-E. Donc, si vous voyez écrit des fois, uh, uh, we often see uh, the, the word P-E. Ou pas le, le mot, les lettres. P-E. Donc, I-E en français. P-E. Ça veut dire physical education. Ça veut dire le sport en français. Ok? So, what I want to know is what is your favorite subject? What is your favorite subject? Maybe it's geography or maths or French, or I hope, I hope, I hope it's this, or maybe it's English, or maybe it's history, yeah. So what is your favorite subject? Quel est ton sujet préféré? What is your favorite subject? Okay. Okay, very good. Well, my favorite subject, qui n'est pas du tout ici, is arts and crafts. My favorite subject is arts and crafts. Vous vous rappelez qu'est-ce que c'est arts and crafts? Yeah, les arts plastiques. That's my favorite subject. I love arts and crafts. I love arts and crafts. Talked about your favorite subject what about a subject so a subject that you don't you don't like you don't like so for me for me i don't 
I don't like, I really, really, really don't like, I have to find it, I have to find it, where is it? I really don't like maths. Oh, I don't like maths. I don't like maths. And you, what don't you like? What subject don't you like? Can you say, I don't like, I don't like maybe geography? Mm -hmm. Or maybe, uh, I hope not, maybe it's English, maybe you don't like English. Oh no. Very good, okay, very good. Um, so, on fait pas que les matières, on fait pas que les, les sujets, on fait plein d'autres choses à l'école. Uh, so let's imagine, on va imaginer, in the morning, in the morning, c'est quoi? Le matin, yeah, exactly. In the morning, we go to school. Normalement, en ce moment, euh, oui et non. <laughs> in the morning, we go to school. We go to school. What time do you go to school? What time? What time do you go to school? Maybe, well, I think, si ça n'a pas changé. <laughs> I think you go to school at, let's see, let's see if I can get my clock right. You go to school at half past eight. Half past eight. Yes, good, yeah, exactly, very good. And at school, you do, um, you do, you do, you do French, you do um, maths and everything. And then at midday, Qu'est-ce que c'est midday? Midday. Ça ressemble beaucoup au cas en français. Midi. Yeah, exactly. Midday. We can say midday or we can also say... I'll just move my... There we go. We can also say 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. So at 12 o'clock, I imagine that you eat. You eat. Qu'est-ce que tu manges? Yeah, you eat lunch. You eat lunch lunch yeah very good and then in the afternoon in the afternoon qu'est-ce que c'est l'afternoon l'après-midi yeah in the afternoon so maybe at uh, try and get my hands right there we go <laughs> maybe at two o'clock at two o'clock uh, you go to school and maybe you do um, you do history, or you do English, or you do uh, geography as well, maybe, yeah? Okay, very good, excellent, excellent. Uh, and also don't forget, at school, at school there is also the recreation, the recreation. Qu'est-ce que c'est le recreation? Oui, comme en français la récréation. We call it playtime. Or recreation, recreation, yeah. Um, donc c'est là où vous jouez avec vos amis. Donc jouer hein, in English, how do we say jouer in English? We say play, yeah, you play with your friends, you play with your friends, yeah, very good. Okay, so let's talk about, on a parlé des matières, on a parlé des sujets, French, English, maths, geography, history. But to do all of these things, on a besoin des fournitures, on a besoin des, des utiles pour pouvoir faire toutes ces choses à l'école. So the first thing we need is what? Yeah, I think it's probably this, hein? Pour les grandes, c'est plutôt ça, a pen. Yeah, you need a pen because with the pen, you are going to write. Yeah, with a pen, you are going to write. Yeah. The pen, yeah, very good, very good. And maybe sometimes, sometimes, des fois, maybe you draw as well, yeah, you draw. And you draw with a pen? No, not with a pen, not with a pen. You draw with a pencil, a pencil. Yeah, you draw with a pencil. Make yeah. maybe a mistake. <gasps> and you use a, what's this? Yeah, in English we say a rubber, a rubber or an eraser. Il y a deux mots. 
a rubber, very good, or an eraser, eraser. Yeah, very good, yeah, an eraser, very good. Okay, um, and also, I'm sure that you do a lot of this. Yeah, you read, you read, yeah, you read, yeah, very good, yeah, very important, you read, very good. And sometimes, uh, well, often, often, souvent, when we draw with our pencil, after, après, we colour, yeah, we colour with uh, crayons, yeah, colouring pencils, or crayons, or maybe with felt tips, yeah, with felt tips, felt tips. Very good, very good. And because uh, you write, parce que vous vous écrivez, you write with a pen, et on veut bien que votre travail est très propre et bien fait et tout ça, et aussi en géométrie quand on fait les maths, we need one of these two, what's this? In English, it's a ruler, a ruler, yeah, a ruler, yeah, very important, yeah, to do a, a straight, straight line, yeah, a straight line with a ruler, very good. We're going very to good. talk a little more about French, on va parler un petit peu plus de French and also um, English, when I can find it, here we go, French and English. Euh, donc ça, c'est ce qu'on appelle les langues. Les langues, là, pour vous, c'est une langue étrangère. OK, c'est les langues. In English, we say languages. 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 OK. So when we do French or English, we, uh, we write. We write. And we write. On write, we write using, oops, it's upside down, sorry. <laughs> we write using letters. Okay, les lettres, in English, we say letters. Letters. Et les lettres, ils forment quoi? Ils forment des mots. Et des mots, in English, we say words. Okay? So when we're doing French and English, we use letters. Words. Et les mots, ça forme quoi les mots? Ça forme des phrases. Ok? Des phrases in English, we say sentences. So, again, when we're using or we're doing French and English, we use letters, words, and sentences. So, again, letters, lettres, words, les mots, and sentences, les phrases. Very good. However, par contre, when we do maths, when we do maths, do we use letters, words, and sentences? Not really, yeah, not really. A little, a little, but mostly we use numbers. Numbers, yeah, we use numbers, yeah. We use numbers and we can add numbers, subtract numbers. Yeah, add and subtract. Okay, add and subtract. Et les égal, in English, we say equals. Equals. So add, subtract, equals. Et les chiffres, we say Numbers, numbers, un peu comme les nombres in French, in English we say numbers, ok? Very good! We'll just do a little recap, on va faire un petit récapulatif parce qu'il y a pas mal de mots de vocabulaire là-dedans aujourd'hui. Hein? So we'll look first at the subjects, the activities, um, and then we'll stop, ok? Are you ready? So for the subjects at school, you do... History, you do math or maths or mathematics. On a les trois mots qu'on utilise. You do English, of course, very important, très important. English, uh, you do French, of course, 
very important too, French. Uh, you do um, geography, yeah, geography. And you also do history, history, yeah, history. Est-ce que vous vous rappelez de comment on disait pour le sport? On disait qu'il y avait deux lettres. Yeah, it's P E, P E, physical education. P E, very good. And P E, of course. And when you're at school, quand vous êtes à l'école, you write mostly with a pen. So you write with a pen. Uh, you draw with a pencil, you draw with a pencil, if you make a mistake, si vous faites une erreur, you, yeah, you rub out or you erase, rub out or erase with a rubber or an eraser, a rubber or an eraser, very good. Uh, if you want to do a straight line, and lean the what a straight line you need to use a ruler a ruler very good um, and if you want to color you can use crayons or you can use felt tips felt tips and also, very important, at school and at home, I hope too, à la maison aussi. Toutes ces choses, on peut faire à la maison, surtout si on continue à faire notre travail à la maison, mais toutes ces choses, vous faites à la maison aussi. So we also read, yeah, very important too, very important to read, yeah, to read. Okay, so I think we're good, yeah, I think we're good. I'm going to uh, stop for today. Euh, dans les commentaires, moi j'aimerais savoir uh, uh, what's your favorite subject? What's your favorite subject? J'aimerais bien savoir quelle est votre matière préférée. What's your favorite subject? Yes, yeah, so you can you can tell me what it is. Yeah, with the, dans les commentaires. Very good. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye. Goodbye. Have a good week. Stay safe. And I will see you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye.